is Jason from Rockland Technologies, and we've got a new product here today, the Alpha AWUS036 ACHM. We're going to be doing a range and a speed test for you here shortly. Just to take a quick look at what you get in the box, there are some differences with this product versus what you've got before. First, Alpha is no longer including the DVD disc in there anymore. A lot of modern laptops don't have DVD drives, so you'll find in the instructions it tells you where to go to download the installation driver for Microsoft Windows or Linux. And you've got the adapter, the USB cable, the clip attachment for the back if you want to clip it to a laptop, and of course the antenna. And we've got one out here all ready to go. So with this adapter, we're going to be taking a look first at the range that you can expect compared to the built-in Wi-Fi card on your computer and also compared to the AWUS036NH, which is Alpha's previous generation 802.11n Wi-Fi USB adapter. So we're going to click down on the Wi-Fi icon. And it should bring up the results of your built-in Wi-Fi card. Notice we've got some networks close by to us, but after that, there's a big drop-off. We're only getting one or two bars to pretty much every other network the built-in Wi-Fi card detects. Scroll back up to the top. We'll choose Wi-Fi 6, which is our AWUS036 ACHM. And look at all these additional five bar networks we're getting. A lot of those that were coming in at three bars are now up to five. And notice a lot of those one and two bar networks are now at three bars. So we're seeing a nice increase in both the total number of networks available and also the signal strength for each one. Now in your computer, the Wi-Fi 6 may appear as Wi-Fi 2. We do a lot of testing on this computer, so it's added some other numbers in between there. Uh, but that shows you the difference between the built-in card on this computer and the AWUS036 ACHM. So in that test, we saw the AWUS036 ACHM not only got more networks than the built-in Wi-Fi card, but you could also see several of the networks that were just one bar with a built-in card were three or four bars with the ACHM. So we've got a great look at the range. Now let's take a look and see what we can do with the throughput speed. We're going to open up a Chrome browser next and we're going to do some speed test here just to show you what the throughput is like. And we're going to click on run speed test. And you'll see that number shoot up and we're up there about 40 megabits per second. Now for some of you with super vast fiber optic that may seem a little bit slow. Our max speed is about 50 here where we are in this office location with this line. So 40 for us is really good and we're seeing about a 12 or 13 megabit per second upload. So for our location uh, with Wi-Fi those are some very very good numbers. A lot more than what we're used to seeing with the 802.11n Wi-Fi products. Doing another test here, it's always a good idea to do multiple tests back to back in case there's a particular outlier. So we're going to do another one here just to see that we get some similar numbers. And you see our average is there looking pretty good. So right there, we saw that the throughput speed averaged up towards 40 megabits per second, sometimes more than twice as fast as the built-in Wi-Fi card. Now we're going to switch over and take a look at the AWUS036NH to get an idea of what its throughput speed might be like. This is going to be particularly interesting for those of you that already own that product and are considering upgrading. You can see what a standard speed test comparison will look like. Now we're going to hook up the AWUS036NH adapter to the computer. You see that shows up on our system as Wi-Fi 5. If we look back at the built-in Wi-Fi, uh, we see this. We know what networks to expect. When we look at the 36NH, we can see that the range is by no means bad. We don't quite get as many networks with the AWUS036NH as we do uh, with the ACHM we were looking at before, but we're getting some pretty strong signal bars. So now we can't connect to 5 gigahertz because that model uh, is not a dual band adapter, but we're going to go ahead and connect to the 2.4 gigahertz and run a speed test there and see how the speed compares. 
And you'll see it's not bad, but it's about half of what we were getting with that ACHM on both 2.4 and 5. We're down about 19 megabits per second. So we'll run another speed test here and again take the averages across the top. Now while we're running these speed tests, if you are in an area where you are getting much slower speed, if you're already an owner of the AWUS036NH and you're maybe getting three or four megabits per second, that's an environment where the ACHM could potentially really help boost your speeds for you. Uh, doubling from 20 to 40, you probably won't notice that when watching Netflix or streaming videos on YouTube, but going from say 4 up to 8 or 5 up to 10, that could certainly make a huge difference for you. And you see our second test came in uh, about where the first test came in, so we're right there about half of the total throughput. So there you have it. We have the AWUS 36 ACHM. We've given you speed and range tests to both the built-in Wi-Fi card on our computer as well as the previous generation AWUS 36 NH. And you can see you get more overall range and you get better speed as well. So this product is definitely highly recommended for Microsoft Windows use. And also be sure to check out our video on getting it into monitor mode in Linux. And we'll put that link up on the screen for you right now. For other videos, be sure to check our YouTube channel and don't forget to check us out on rockland.com for all the latest alpha network products.